sorry about this today. I don't care. I was like reading the bus description and I got on the wrong bus. I, I mean, I, I miss my stuff. I don't care, Terry. I'm just, I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, Sonny. Um, did you come from work? Um, no, it's Saturday. Oh yeah, of course, it's just, you're so formally dressed. Oh, no. I, you know, I just thought I'd, you know, I thought it was a special occasion, which it is. Yeah, of course. I, I thought I'd dress up too. That's okay, you look fine. This is a hot cuisine of garment. <laughs> what? Nothing. I don't know. So, so how have you been? I'm fine. Yeah. And Ruth? We're fine, Terry. How are you? I mean... Yeah. I... Where have you been lately? I know, I, I just I haven't been... I got a postcard from you from Alaska? But yeah, I was, I, was, I was up there for a while. But that was in the fall, Terry. Uh, I didn't realise I haven't really been in touch. I was a little worried. I mean... Oh, yeah, I was I was down in Florida for a little while and then I was doing some work in Orlando. I've, I've been all over the place. I wish you would have let me know that you were okay. I just didn't realise it then. So long. going to be in town for a while? Oh, well, I've, I've actually got some things I need to do back in worship, so, so I can probably oh, really oh. stay a couple of days or so. Oh, well, that's all right. Y yeah, I've got to kind of stick to a schedule of sorts. It's, it's a long and worthy story, but I won't trouble you with it right now. Are, are you expecting someone? Oh. Who would I be expecting here? Oh, you just kept looking around, that's all. Oh no, I was just wondering if we can get some more refreshments, actually. Sorry, I've actually got something I need to confess to you. The reason I haven't been in contact lately is because I really, I haven't been able to write. On account of the fact that I was in prison for a while. You were what? I, I guess I did a little time down in Florida, just, but it was for bullshit. What? It, it was bullshit. What did you do? Well, nothing. <laughs> did it ever occur to you that maybe I was wrong? No. Well, could I Oh my just, God. W would you let me just say? What happened? I got in a fight down in the bar in Florida. And I wasn't the one who instigated it all, but they brought up all this bullshit against me and they threw me in the pen for three months. I didn't write you because I didn't want to make you upset about it. I just figured you'd figure I was on the road for a while. Um, I'm sorry, and I know it's stupid, but I really didn't mean to make you worry. But you know what? I. I can't be running around doing stuff or not doing stuff because it's going to make you worry. Because then I come back here and tell you all about my fucking traumas and you give me this little wounded I've let you down bullshit over and over again. And you know what? It just, it really cramps me. And I just want to get out from underneath it. And here I am back in this fucking hole explaining myself to you again. Okay. Can you please stop swearing at me? Well, I, I understand that I'm not one who can basically say anything. Ever. But it's not like I'm down in some fucking redneck bar in Florida having an argument with some stripper's boyfriend. I'm like, you know what, hey, this is a good time to stick it to Sammy. I'll just get myself locked up for a few months. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I mean, welcome home. Hey, you don't write me. And I have no idea where you are. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're alive or dead. I'm sorry. And you show up out of nowhere and tell me you're in jail. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sammy. I'm sorry. <gasps> Sammy. What? I'm in the midst of a slight predicament. 
What do you need? Money? Yeah, actually, um, I'm broke. And I've got to get back to Worcester tomorrow. Because I, I've got this girl over there and she's she's in some trouble and I just I just need some money, like whatever you can spare. Like, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back now. Really wish you this So they're going to share with you. I really wish mom was here. Me too, man. One more time. I'm going to take that in. really wish mom was here. Me too, man. Nobody knows what to do with you. I know how they feel, man. Terry, can I ask you a question? What? Well, I mean, do you ever go to church anymore? Come on, Sonny, can we not talk about that bullshit? Do you? No, I don't. Can you tell me why not? Because I think it's ridiculous. Can you tell me without, like, denigrating what I believe in? Because I think it's primitive, okay? I think it's a fairy tale. Well, I mean, have you considered that maybe that's a part of what's making things difficult for you? No. That you've lost some sort of hold of, well, not just your religious feeling, but this hold of any kind of anchor, any kind of trust in anything. No wonder you drift around so much. What could ever stop you? I mean, how would you ever know if you really found something good? I'm, I'm not really looking for anything, man. I'm just trying to, you know, get on with it. Like I said, three things. 